All right. Well, let's talk about the next step. So I've started receiving the parts um, to build the Mustang 2 front end. But first, I'm going to go through and I want to show you guys how to or how I um, am going to approach the project because I'm going to be basically building cars, you know, for a long time. So I decided to make a set of jigs. So I'm going to show you how I made a jig. So first, what you're going to need is a correct component like this. So this is an upper for a Mustang II. Um, you know, just plain run of the mill, nothing fancy. Uh, the top hat kind, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. So we're going to go from this and this. To making this so what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about how did I get from just the steel to this so what I did is I took the uh, channel steel and I got the approximate shape so I just basically cut it welded it no big deal then what I did is I laid the stock upper in here so I could make a copy of it. I got these little nifty um, shaft clamps off of Amazon. I think they're like 15 bucks a piece. Um, this tubing is one inch diameter. So these are a one inch ID. Um, and then to get the location for, because you know, basically it's the same for left or right. Um, for the screw and ball joint, I just took a washer and I got the proper location. I put it inside of here, clamped this together. So I clamped the washer in here, put it in a little jig, and then I measured the distance here and then just tack welded it. And then on the back side here, What's going to happen? I'm still waiting for the the right uh, bungs, but this basically replaces the factory stuff that I cut out with the factory bracket, and I got the correct center line. So I got the right center line, and then, like I said, once I get the right bungs, because these are the wrong bungs, it goes here, and then you just put it in and I'm going to plug weld it and then weld it and now you're you know correct so I'm going to use this jig um, basically to create other upper control arms I'm going to do the same thing with the lower and I'm going to do the same thing um, for the uh, for the cross member so again just so you can see you know what I did and how I did it and why I did it I also raised it up a little bit so you could actually get around and weld everything while it's in the jig and the other thing that i did that you know kind of makes sense to me maybe it doesn't make sense to anyone else but i want to do a one setup i want to basically make my components put it in here and then start making it so i've made it so i can literally just put it in a little drill press i can cope these tubes while it's in the fixture and I never have to take it out again. I can cut everything. I can put it in there. It's in there once and it's done. So that's the idea with this is trying to, you know, make it all one, you know, basically one setup, one, you know, one fixturing and done. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's just, like I said, that's just the way I did it. Um, I guess if you got questions, whatever, you know, leave a comment and, uh, I will be doing another one of these for the cross member and another one for the lower. So hopefully this helped you. And uh, here we go.